What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. So we're on season 20. We're on season 20 in the Mahabharat. And this is where, you know, it gets started. The war and everything we've been going on. We did we did all, you know, leading up to this. But I wanted to take each episode where Krishna kind of, you know, schools Arjun. Right? But that's, it's, it's an important thing because this, like, this little moment right here is not a little moment, big, a huge moment. But this little blink in time moment I'm saying it's so enlightening, not for just him, but everyone. So that's why everybody's like, take these episodes one by one because they get complex. And I'm I look, I got my paper and pen. I got a paper and pen. They, they're going to get complex, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. I just hope I can absorb all the info to blow that conch. They're about to blow that conch to start this war. And our June's like, stop. He tells Krishna, stop. I want to inspect the armies. Krishna, he stops and everything. I was like, is something wrong with my computer? I was like, is something wrong with my TV? Because everything like was stopped, but no sound. Oh, it was here. Krishna stops everything for Arjun. And when he did it, though, didn't he have like a little smirk? Like he was expecting it. I was like, Krishna, you was expecting this, Lord Krishna. You was ready for this. You was ready to teach Arjun through Arjun, the world, all the people, your knowledge. Oh, I got chills. I did. I got chills from that. So, you know, Arjun starts questioning it, right? Arjun starts questioning Krishna, Krishna like, you know, I want to take a look at the armies. I was like, oh, he's wanting to get a little peek. To, that's what I first thought. I was like, Arjun wants to get a little peek at the armies to, to see, like, a little strategic advantage that's what i was thinking first but he was like i just want to take a look at the people to see you know who's gonna die for justice and injustice and then he starts questioning himself he's like i you know if i die for this i want to know what's like for justice right i want to know i'm doing for just something for justice and then oh i, I like what krishna says because he's like a charity is when the giver gives something and the seeker gets something in return but then he's like, a sacrifice is something when the giver gives something and the whole world gets something in return. I was like, oh, isn't that... Look. Krishna just delivering like the truth over and over, making you just contemplate and think about. And our Jews still keeps questioning him. He keeps questioning him. And I felt like a Krishna was starting to get mad at him, right? Krishna starts getting mad. He's like, our Jew, stop. Who are you to question? Are you the creator? I was like, oh, Krishna's getting mad. I've never seen him get mad at Arjun. But he does. he's like, are you the creator? Are you the one who Zio tells us what justice and injustice is? Well, Krishna takes him though. Krishna's like, all right, you want to see everything? You want to see everything, Arjun? Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look for ourselves. And he does. He brings him over there and he's like, look. This is where, oh, I started crying. Oh, I started crying. He takes him over to the opposing side and, and starts pointing them out. You know, they're all they're all frozen. They're all like this. And and Krishna starts pointing out each of them out. He's like, you know, you're questioning this war? You're questioning this war now? He's like, look at that mean prince. What's his name? Look, at, remember what he did in the royal court, dis, disrobe, trying to disrobe, you know, Drapati. I mean, if he's going to do that to... to a queen, you know, your brother's, his sister-in-law. This is the injustice you're fighting for. Look at Shikani over there with his all his little schemes and everything. How many times he schemed to try to kill you and your family, your mom? He's like, look at Bishma and Rona. Look at them. All this injustice was happening in the court, and they were just standing there, staying silent. He's like, this is the this is what you're fighting for. Just, this justice. This is what you're fighting for. And he's like, is this worthy of fighting? Oh, he, he got Arjun worked up, didn't he? Arjun was, he's like, you're right. You're right. We got to fight this war. We got to fight for injustice. This is where 
Lord Krishna always like this is the the wisdom he brings because he's like after he gets our you know thinking about all the injustice that's happening and and fired up and then he's got he's then he starts he's now look at Bishma again look at the Lord Bishma again and remember remember too the good stuff about him remember what he did remember he sacrificed his life like gave up gave up kind of you know his life for for the blind king just so your family could have you know some peace in the world and a little place in the world and he's like look at drona over there your mentor who taught you look at what he's done how he took pride in you you know taking care of you know take pride and taught you your archery skills and even like can put a burden on himself and sin on himself to make you the best archer cutting that that boy's thumb off just because he he uh was in the same league as him as archery he's like oh no you you're gonna be the best archer he did that stuff for arjun he's like look at the sacrifices these people made he even brought up what's his name the one brother v vikarn vikarn who is the only one in the court that stood up when that was happening and in the royal court when that was happening Draupadi and he was like he was like that's the only brother that stood up in and anyone in that court and took up and said this ain't right look at these on the opposing side all that you know look at the bad but all the good that they've done too oh I mean that could be it these are lessons for everything right you look at a person, of course, you, you might be mad at them and see their bad qualities and stuff. But I mean, everybody has these bad qualities, but also good things that they have done good. Krishna takes Arjun to the other side, to his own side, right? And he starts pointing out, you know, his brothers, Beam and, and twins and even you, Denise. Like, look at these brothers. They have been by your side the whole time and everything they've done with you and sacrificed it for you. And, and you know, you could just see, you know, Arjun with the pride but then even Krishna he breaks out and he's like but can can you you know look at the crime that the mean prince did to Draupadi just like you know look at that as a crime and not and and overlook the the crimes like your brothers your brother like did like the mean prince disrespecting you know Draupadi by trying to disclose her was it also not like a disrespect you know, you, I guess, what we said, like Sharon Drapati and, and also, you know, them staying silent. And, and your brother Yudi, he's like, was Yudi not guilty of a crime? He's the one that gambled away all of y'all in Drapati. Was he not just as much of an injustice than the mean prince did? He got Arjun questioning again. Krishna always, I was like, Krishna never gives the answers, which is neat. Krishna, though, you know he invokes your your thinking he invokes your 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 mind to like think and question yourself and come to your your conclusions that way just by asking the questions like he don't just come out and tell our June this is the way it is and 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 write it down I'm giving you all the, the thing no he sits there and he's like he gives him questions so he can come up with it himself figure it out himself I mean that's the best way to teach that's the best way to teach and Krishna if anything he was a great teacher, but also, I mean, he's telling him too, he's like, look, both sides, you both have sins on both sides. You both did good on both sides, but you both also have injustices that you did. So how can you even yourself say, who's in the right and wrong here? And Arjun's like, I can't, you're right, I can't. And that's what Chris is like, well, leave it up to the pros, <laughs> right? That's what pretty much he's saying. He's like, well, listen, that's why you should be here. You leave it up to the pros, leave it up to me the creator and 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 the god looks over all y'all you just leave this up to me and and i'll handle this and then my arjun oh i started feeling for him i did because i mean this is a lot you're about to go into war i can't even imagine the feelings going through you you don't know he and and then krishna just tells you like you know he's like look at your brothers your sons your nephews your friends all here a lot of them's gonna die. Oh, I can't imagine. And Arjun starts feeling it too. The pressure. He's like, I can't. He starts crying. I was like, I can't even raise my weapon. I can't even raise my weapon right now. And I feel like Lord Krishna. He's getting mad at Arjun. That's how I feel. He starts getting mad. He's like, 
He's like, raise your weapon. This is your duty, Arjun. This is your duty. He's like, but it's going to be a catastrophe, Krishna. Everything's going to be destruction. And, oh, that's when Krishna hits him with again. He's like, what does Lord Krishna say? He, he's like, catastrophe is the foundation of reformation. And I'm like, yeah. You, you wipe out everything and, and rebuild again. I mean, the, how, what, the, you, you that seems like common sense right there, but it, it's, it seems like common sense, but also it's like a deep concept, I, you know? And he does tell me, he's like, Arjun, you, you're questioning this stuff. You sound like a fool. <laughs> I was like, Krishna's really getting upset. I'm like, he's supposed to be teaching all this stuff, but he's really getting upset over this at Arjun just asking these questions. Maybe he's expecting more, or maybe he's just upset to be like, to get through his head, you know? Because if a Lord was upset with me, I'd be like, all right, I better listen. I better listen here. So he's like, what's the purpose of this? You know, we want a happy life. A lot of these soldiers here is going to die and, and leave widows and all this. And that's when, you know, a Krishna's like, you know, if a, if a tree leaves loses a few leaves, he's like, that they've served their purpose. Their purpose is you know, bringing life to the tree and serving the tree. And once their purpose is done, they they can lose their leaves. And that's, he's like, that's what people are. He's like, people aren't about making themselves happy. This, this leaf ain't, ain't an independent part of, you know, of the tree that it, it flourishes and just thinks of itself. No, the, the, the tree is the, the society, right? And we're just the leaves of it. We do things to make society better, like the leaves does things to make the trees better. That's a hard concept to take. <laughs> you know, that's a hard concept to take because even me, I'm like, what's the purpose of life? When if someone asks me the purpose of life, which is a big question, and Krishna's telling us the purpose of life is to serve society, to serve, you know, the well-being of man, and in turn, you know, man's creation is is you know God so it's to serve the well-being of man through in God and I'm just like oh. if, if you would have asked me before this I'd be like purpose of life is just to be happy <laughs> that would be mine but it's so much deeper and it's and, and it is it's so it, it makes sense but it's still oh. will you give your life to you know for the the good or the good of of society I'm not sure I'm willing to. <laughs> Is that terrible to say? I'm not sure I'm willing to. That's a lot. And that's what Arjun said. How can I, when I have like affections for all these other people, serve society? And and that's what Arjun is like each of us. I feel like each of us were like, all right, I want to serve, you know, my society. I want to serve my God. But we're also like, oh, but my kids, you know, I got to think of them and that. And they're, he's like, you got to put that aside, right? That's what he's saying. He's like, yeah, you got to put that aside because for the future of the world, this has to be done. You have to pick up your weapon for the future of the world. And that's when Arjun, oh, he gets on his knee and he's like, you're my chariot. He's like, you're the chariot driver. You're steering the path for the future for me. You're steering the path. Lead me to the right direction. I'm you, these episodes, these episodes. They got, they, they're so deep. They're so deep and meaningful. And I'm just like, we can all use a lesson from it. We can all use these lessons in life. Anyway, we're going to get to more. We are going to get to more coming up. We got a few more to go through. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, y'all.